Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to the Focus RX channel. It is nice to have you here as always. And in today's video, we're actually going to be talking about why you would want to pursue a career in pharma or biotech. In terms of who this video is for, as you may know, I am a huge advocate for PharmDs, pharmacists working in the pharmaceutical industry. But we talk a lot about that because it is only recently that pharmacists know that they can pursue a career outside of retail or clinical pharmacy. So it's my goal to provide resources to know how to do that. But when it comes to the pharmaceutical industry, you can come in with basically any life science healthcare background, whether that's a PharmD, MD, PhD, public health, bachelor's in science degree, all of that. But also, depending on the department, you can work in pharma as an MBA, a lawyer, a bachelor's in business, and so much more. There's honestly room for a lot of different types of backgrounds. And I think that's one thing that I love so much about it. No matter what path of academics you come from, you end up working with an array of different professionals. And just surely that exposure of working with people of different academic backgrounds honestly really helps when it comes to professional and personal growth. Before we get started, if you have not already, don't forget to hit that subscribe subscribe button for more videos like this. And if you end up liking this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Now, without further ado, let's get into the reasons of why you would want to pursue a career in the pharmaceutical industry. The first, and I would say one of the most important reasons, is the impact you have on healthcare. In any line of work, people strive to make an impact to whatever audience they serve, whether it's a customer, whether it's a patient, whether it's a business. We as humans need to work towards something. We want to leave the world a better place. Place. And within healthcare, the pharmaceutical industry really gives you a place to have a very large impact. Pharmaceutical and biotech companies are at the forefront of medical advancements. As we learn more about the human body, about the medical world, we need to continuously develop innovative drugs and medicines to, yes, in the end, help save and improve lives. Now, every role, every part of the process is extremely important, whether it's a role in a pharmaceutical company, whether it's a doctor working directly with a patient, whether it's a nurse, whether it's a pharmacist, we need all of them. But within the pharmaceutical industry, it's a crucial part of the journey of, again, the advancement. And as an individual, when you work on the advancement of a therapy, of a therapeutic area, your work has a potential of impacting an extremely wide audience in the future. Overall, you could be part of a team that creates these drugs to combat diseases, ease suffering, and again, save lives. So overall, your job becomes more than a job. It's truly a mission to make the world a healthier, happier place. And in my opinion, working in the pharmaceutical industry, you're really at a unique point in the healthcare landscape where you can really utilize what we know historically about medicine, what our standard practices are, and throughout your career actually be able to witness these real world discoveries that can help change patients' lives. So again, when it comes to working in the pharmaceutical industry, I really think that your work can have an impact now, in the near future, and in the larger scheme of things. The next reason I think it's extremely fulfilling to work in the pharmaceutical industry is because of the number of career paths available. Like I mentioned, you don't necessarily have to come from a specific background to work in pharma. There are so many career paths available and that path can change depending on what you want at a certain point in time. As you professionally grow in your career, you can really cater your path to your interests and skills that you gain along the way. It's not just like a one linear track that everyone has to follow. In comparison, if we take pharmacists, if you were to work in retail pharmacy, you generally have one linear path. You can go from being a pharmacy technician to a registered pharmacist, then maybe manager, and then maybe store manager. But after that point, you go into corporate and outside of that, there isn't any other kind of professional growth pathway. In contrast, when you work in the pharmaceutical industry, you can start Start in one department and you can end up in a completely different department throughout your career. There are options to grow laterally and vertically, again, depending on what skill sets you want to grow and what interests you. Having that option is key. It also allows you to really learn a lot along the way and choose where you want to be impactful and when. You can explore and gain skills in research, clinical trials, regulatory affairs, marketing, pharmacovigilance, quality assurance, commercial, HEOR, medical affairs, and so, so many more. Having this diverse range of roles and paths available to you not only helps you professionally grow, but it also has this no ceiling effect. 
No matter what season in life you're in, no matter what background you have, you can really tailor your career to your strengths, to the skills that you want to grow, to the needs that you may have in life, and still be challenged. I think that's something that a lot of people find challenging when they take more traditional routes, both as a pharmacist and potentially as PhD or MD candidates. And especially with people with that scientific acumen, you always are looking to be challenged. And so that is what the pharmaceutical industry can offer you. Once you learn a lot about one department, how it operates, what your role is in it, you could choose to start anew in another department. And just learning that way of work is a new set of challenges. And of course, we don't know what we don't know. So especially when you come from being a student or an early professional, you may start to learn things along the way in your career in the pharma industry and find different passions. And you can actually pursue those passions as you find them. And as you learn about how these companies Companies, clinical trials, medicines actually go through the process. There's a place for basically everybody in the pharmaceutical industry. And I think that is just so key that an industry can actually offer that to so many different types of people. Having the ability to pivot, to advance, to change throughout your career and not feel stagnant is something that a lot of people seek and I think is highly valuable. Now let's talk about what we all at some level work for, and that is money. Salaries, financials, they do matter. Of course, as scientists, we want to have a positive impact on the world, on patients, on the scope of medicine, but financials matter. And when it comes to the pharmaceutical industry, these are corporate companies, and in general, corporate companies are able to offer high financial incentives for roles. This isn't something that exists in just the pharmaceutical industry. There's this is, I would say, one of the main reasons a lot of people go into, let's say, the tech industry. There are a lot of financial incentives. So when it comes to the pharmaceutical industry, I really see it as that perfect gateway to a job where you can have an impact, but also be well compensated. Pharma and biotech companies are always looking to hire top talent, and therefore they do offer very competitive salary and benefit packages. And back to having no ceiling, as you grow in your career, as you have more experience, your potential for career progression and therefore earning potential can really substantially grow over time. So you're not just making a difference in healthcare, but you're also able to secure a comfortable future for you and your family. If you can get a rewarding career and financial stability, what's not to love about that? The next reason you'd want to work in the pharma industry is something I've kind of touched on earlier, but it is the intellectual challenge. Now think about it. Pharma and biotech companies are at the edge of medical innovation. They are looking for the next best drug, whether it's best in class, whether it's a first of a kind, they need to come up with something new. So when you're working in this industry, you're not necessarily working on what's already established. You're using what has been established, data, literature, case studies, etc. to formulate something new, whether it's a new process, whether it's a new medicine. Innovation is at its core. And therefore, no matter what role you are in, on a daily, weekly, monthly basis, you are going to be faced with challenges that really require a lot of critical thinking and problem solving. Now again, especially for those of us that come from higher degrees or a scientific background, generally those are the type of people that love data, that love looking into things deeply, that love understanding all the complexities. And so if they're working in roles that aren't continuously challenging them, over time it'll get boring, it'll get stale, and no matter what the job is, you'll fall a little less in love with it. The process of drug development itself from initial discovery to drug approvals to marketing. It's a very complex process. Not only does it take 20 plus years, but there is so much involved. And again, many companies are trying to do it faster, quicker, newer. So as an individual, as a professional, you are always pushed to expand your knowledge, to think outside of the box. And the more competitive you are, the more cutting edge technology you can be involved in, the more critical thinking and innovation you can bring to your role, the more you'll be valued in your role and in the pharma industry. So if you're a type of person that loves to consistently grow and be challenged, there's literally no end to it within the pharmaceutical industry. And so again, if you can be in an environment that is mentally stimulating and challenging and you're able to have an impact, 
impact, to me, that sounds like a perfect package. Next up, the pharma and biotech industry is global. It is not located in one area, and more often than not, companies have many branches, whether it's internationally or at least nationally. What this means for you is two things. When it comes to life flexibility, you have the option of working for many different locations in the pharma industry. Whether you have to move because of your spouse, whether you have to move because of other life reasons, you can always find a job within the pharma industry. And now, especially after COVID, of course, there are a lot of remote options. So again, no matter what kind of background and lifestyle you have, you can really find a place for yourself. Now, the second thing about it being a global industry is that when it comes to your type of work, you can work both locally and internationally. You can grow your professional network and really gain a unique skill set by collaborating and working with people from all over the world, all different backgrounds, explore different cultures, explore how different cultures work professionally, and overall contribute together to this global mission of healthcare. Again, going back to expansion and career growth, learning how to work internationally on a global level with different portfolios is a huge challenge. And so yet again, another way to continuously stay challenged and grow in all types of ways. If you zoom out and look at healthcare, just working in one country isn't necessarily going to make as many strides as it will working globally. So coming back to impact, you can have the most impact while working in this global industry, while working with people internationally. So just all in all, such a great opportunity. And lastly, when it comes to lifestyle, a career within the pharmaceutical industry can really allow you to live a little bit more of a flexible lifestyle. Now, this is very personal, but when you take traditional pharmacist or doctor roles, traditionally, you have some type of shift work you have to be at a certain place at a certain time and the nature of that doesn't allow for as much flexibility now everyone's life situation can look a bit different but i think especially after the pandemic there's more of a need and a want to have a flexible working lifestyle of course you still have to work many pharma companies work in a hybrid model so you still might have to go into work a certain amount of days a week but having the ability to work from home having an industry that understands that having that flexibility overall allows allows you to take care of your family, yourself in a less stringent way. And that can be helpful over the years of your life. Now, of course, we need those amazing professionals in those roles that are a little less flexible. But when it comes to you and looking for a fulfilled career, look at what your life needs are. And if you do need some additional flexibility, whether you're a parent, whether you're a caregiver, whether you live far from work, these can be things that you can really take into consideration that can really improve your quality of life and career. I think assessing all of the factors that we've talked about today is important. And again, working culture and lifestyle is definitely one of them. So the ability to have a bit of a more flexible working culture can really, really be helpful and beneficial. Overall, working in the pharmaceutical industry, especially as somebody in the STEM field, such as pharmacists, PhDs, MDs, etc., can be a really impactful and fulfilling career. There are diverse career paths available you get adequate financial stability, and there's no end to intellectual challenges and global opportunities. So if you're a pharmacy student or a working pharmacist, PhD, or MD, and you're looking for a change or you're looking for your first job, I'm a huge advocate of considering a career within the pharmaceutical industry. If this video has inspired you or been helpful in any way, please do give this video a thumbs up. Stay tuned as we will continue to talk about this topic a lot more on this channel. And as you guys may know, I provide many resources to take the challenging step of getting your first role in the pharmaceutical industry. You can check out the Focus RX website for all the downloadable resources, coaching resources, resume reviews, LinkedIn audits, and so much more. I am extremely committed to helping you pave this path and get into a fulfilling career. If you ever have any questions, you can always reach out via email. And if you have a topic that you'd like discussed, feel free to leave it in the comments below. That is it for today, and you will see me in the next video. Mm -hmm.